So today explains how you can install Jenkins in a Mac terminal. So for that, uh, open the terminal and uh, execute this command brew install Jenkins. Once this command is executed, Jenkins will be installed. And uh, to start the Jenkins server, we can use this command sudo brew services start Jenkins. So I have already started, so that's why it's saying that Jenkins already started. By default, uh, this service started at 8080 port. So if you go to the URL local host uh, called 8080, you will get that uh, Jenkins uh, server page. But I have uh, recently changed the port of the Jenkins server, so it is running on 8011. And first time when you uh, go to that particular URL, you will be uh, redirected to the login page and uh, you have to copy the administrator password which is saved in this particular file. So you have to paste it here and then you can continue and then you, later on you can change the password as well. I have already done that step so I'm just gonna go to the home page. But again it is coming down there. So all you have to do is just go to the particular URL and then uh, sorry the uh, system path, file system path and then just copy the password over there and then continue. So that's how you can work with the Jenkins server. By default it runs already 0, 0 but you can change the port. So to change the port you have to open this file. So let us see. Nano is the editor I'm using. You can use any other editor of him or VI. And here you can see that down there there is one uh, setting called as HTTP port. And uh, over there I have changed uh, it from 8080 to 8011. That's why this server is running on 8011. Alright, that's how you can uh, install Jenkins in a Mac. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, just last thing I want to tell you, if you want to st stop this service, uh, you can use this command. Same command that you use for start is instead of start, uh, just replace that with a stop. That's it. And this might take a while to stop the service because some agents might be running, uh, some processes might be running on the Jenkins, so it will uh, take some time to clean up this Jenkins server and then finally it will stop it. Thanks for watching this video.